What's up, party people? It's your girl, Melanie. I owe you guys an update. About a year or two ago, I recorded a review about this Samsung smart fridge, and I really loved it. But then about a year ago, they came up with an update. It is not the same fridge. And now I'm pretty pissed off. If I look like a bumbling idiot, I apologize. I really don't know how to do a lot of the things that are featured on the new update. If you want a really helpful review, I'm sure there's some videos online. In this video, I'm just gonna share with you my honest thoughts and take from that what you will. Samsung switched Family Hub to this app called Smart Things. We did not get a choice. It automatically changed to this and now this is what I'm stuck with. The SmartThings app is designed to work with other smart Samsung devices in your house. I have my watch and I have my phone, but I don't have my lights, I don't have my TV, I don't have my washer and dryer, I don't have my dishwasher. I don't have anything else in my house that I can use this app with. So it kind of makes this app a little bit useless. I mean, you can even have the app babysit your pet and that's only if you have compatible devices. Although I don't know why you would want your fridge to babysit your pet. I'm gonna try to walk through it with you and show you what it looks like now. If you wanna see more about the fridge details, please check out my first video, which I will put up here. Which I will put up here, and I'll also hook it up at the end of this video so you can watch it when we're done. So some of the features that the fridge still has, so we still have the Amazon apps here, we have Bixby, we still have the fridge manager, which is actually really important. It still gives you all the information about your fridge. One of the new features is that it does feature Amazon Alexa. I actually already have Alexa in almost every room of my house, so I did not bother to add it to my fridge. And anytime I mention the word Alexa, she goes off somewhere in my house. Oh, and they also have Bixby, which I've never used in the first place. So currently these are the apps that are available on Bixby. And it still has a couple of neat things, like there's a calculator, internet, uh, the weather channel. Get me out of here. One of the things I'm really upset about is Samsung partnered up with Whisk or something and now I get these like recipes that pop up on my fridge at random times that I didn't want and I didn't ask for. Oh look, here's one now. Honestly, I think it's like a form of bloatware and I'm really unhappy about this. However, if you want to get to your shopping list, the only way to do that is through this stupid food app. Let's show you right now. All right, so here's my shopping list. I'm gonna go ahead and add orange juice. And I loved that I was able to sync my shopping list on my fridge to my phone. But since they've made this update, I'm having a hell of a time finding this shopping list. And it's under Smart Things Cooking. And there's a little button right here with a cart on it. And there it is. Let's add milk. Let's see what happens when I delete this from my list. That's not what I want. I just wanted to go to the bottom of my list so that I know I already got it. They make it so much more difficult than it needs to be. So if you want to customize your home screen, you can still do that. I'm going to You just have to hold the thing, the button down, and then it gives you a little pop-up that it lets you remove it when it works, that is. You can still leave notes somehow. Blah. Okay, great. Awesome. You can update your cover screen however you want. This is what shows up when you walk by it, when it automatically wakes up. Personally, I like the weather. That's one of the things I've always liked. Like, whatever the weather is outside, it will kind of reflect on your screen, which I think is kind of cool. And then for your background, you could pick whichever color you want from this list. And they did change the wallpapers, which I'm kind of bummed about. Like the screen doesn't look the same as it did. Mostly what I'm doing is getting fingerprints all over this thing. Then to add your customizations, you just lightly tap on the screen and then you'll get this little box pop up and then you can put whatever apps you want on your home screen or there's some widgets. The widgets are very limited, um, but if there's certain things on here that you would use often like iHeartRadio or Pandora, I mean, it's kind of nice that it's available if you want it. 
They also offer some templates for you to use. You can remove it. I definitely don't need that. You can still add pictures if you want. These are the pictures that came with it. You wanna have some people who you don't know enjoying a party on the beach so you can pretend that you're with them, be my guest. And there I've customized my home screen the way I like it with all the apps that I will probably use or may never use. You can view inside, which honestly I never really used before because that's what it looks like. And it takes two seconds to just open the fridge, right? Ugh, I should probably throw that out. They still have a pretty song for the timer. So I know a lot of you guys have complained about the ice maker and having problems with it. I honestly don't use the ice maker that much. Whenever I do, it really hasn't been too much of an issue. If you find that you're having trouble with the ice maker, um, what I would suggest is removing this bin. And mind you, I don't work for Samsung. I'm not an authority on this, but this is what I would try and make sure that there's nothing stuck inside the opening where the ice comes out. So I'm gonna demonstrate how it works for me and you can be the judge yourself. Well, we have it on crushed ice, so let's check this out. It's a little bit messy. Now let's try the cubed ice. I guess we can go back to water. So, so far it's been okay for me. Now, when this update came out, I was really pissed and I wrote to Samsung customer service. They didn't really do anything about it. They have thousands and thousands of glowing reviews that all say, oh, it's perfect. Oh, this is great. I think these reviews were made by their friends and family because for every one of those reviews, you have a review that's talking about how horrible this update is as well. Overall, I still like this fridge. I still like the way it looks. It's really sleek and sexy. I mean, it does a good job of working as a fridge. You can still watch videos. You can still go on the internet. You can get recipes thrown in your face. The Smart Things app is really cool if you want to control all these devices. And even if I did have a smart home, I don't know that I would use my fridge for that. This application is really slow. I mean, if I was gonna do it, I'd probably just do it from my phone. I really think they should have created a separate fridge model and just left the family hub alone because that's why we bought it. Maybe someday when we get more appliances that are Samsung compatible, I'll actually have a use for the SmartThings app. But for now, I'm not quite there. Do you own this fridge? What do you think of the updates? Leave me a comment and let me know. And as always, thank you so much for watching.